My name's Steve Batchel. I'm a naturalist and, uh, I guess, an explorer. Over the course of one calendar year, we had the unique opportunity to attempt 10 world firsts. Absolutely endless amounts of stalagmites and stalactites. And the thought that we're the first people ever to see them is almost beyond belief. To be able to go on an expedition with the very best in the world is a privilege. It's an honor that someone at my level would never normally have. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you for keeping me safe. I think it's quite humbling to spend time with people who are almost superhuman. Some of the greatest explorers in their field in history. And I've been able to count them as teammates and friends. Well done. I'm really proud of you. Steve, Thank you, you all. You did awesome. Thank you all so, so nice much. Nice one, guys. Thank you, James. I think for me, the greatest highlight of this series has been waking up each morning, rolling out of my hammock or opening the tent door and not knowing what that day has ahead. Being on those jungle rivers, going around every corner and not knowing if there could be a jaguar sat at the riverside or if you could find a huge tree blocking a path that could take days to get around. Having a tapir wander out of the bushes and just, you know, stroll in between our boats. No way, that is absolutely amazing. Clearly no idea what we as human beings were because it hadn't seen a human being before. Standing on top of a, a mountain in the Arctic as the first person to summit, the sense of achievement, the, the view, the vista. We were looking out onto hundreds of mountains, none of which had ever been climbed before, and an entire environment where there were no other human beings. That sense of the unknown is what makes expeditions special. For me, though, the highlight of this whole expedition was the last moment. It was being in a cave in Borneo, which doesn't occur on any map, doesn't have a name, and seeing emblazoned over the walls and the ceiling memories of people having been there tens of thousands of years before. Oh, and, that's and a really clear and, one. And a scratching. Whoa. Engraving. Look at that. Oh, it's very good. We've stood on the top of mountains and looked around at the vista and seen there are plenty more for another couple of generations of explorers to go out and climb for the first time. Likewise with the rivers and with the rainforests. It's not all done. There are plenty more final frontiers out there for people to push through. Inevitably on expeditions, you get worn down. You get worn down by leeches, ticks, mosquitoes, by the fact that fungus appears to be growing on every inch of your body and you're, you're chafing and hot and humid and sweaty. But on expeditions like this, there's always something that, that brings you back, that makes you rediscover your enthusiasm. It could be a harpy eagle sat in a tree. It could be a stunning vista, the reflections of the forest on the water around you. It's absolutely spectacular. There's something that reminds you how lucky we are to be here and how privileged to see these places for the first time. 